So I recently had a viewer meet and eat in Fullerton, California at Fog88. Here are some of the people who showed up. But in order to have a meet, we have to understand pho. It all starts in the kitchen, in these giant vats where bone stock and various spices are simmered for hours and hours on end. If only you could smell what I smelled in that kitchen. Oh man, pure bliss, I'm telling you. Once an order has been placed, noodles are immediately blanched and various cuts of beef are added. It's completely customizable. Some might choose one type of cut, others like me prefer everything. And I mean everything, even chicken, pho again. The broth is then poured on, don't forget the garnish, and then it's served right to your table. And the rest you probably know and it comes as second nature to you. The plucking of the basil, tipping bean sprouts over, the essential jalapenos, the squeezing of the lime or lemon, the hoisin sauce, and of course the sriracha. This is the pho that I, and most likely you, grew up with. This is the pho that I know. And I've gotten to know a lot more pho in recent years, but nothing can compare to pho in Southern California. Well, except enjoying it with your viewers. Never in a million years would I have thought that one day I would be meeting people who watch me on YouTube like this. People who stream me off of their phones and their laptops and TVs. I was so surprised that people actually showed up and cared. Omar here came from San Luis Obispo. That is really far away. But everyone else who took time out of their lives to come as well, I mean, wow, I am just so thankful and appreciative. I have to admit, I was very happy and proud. See? People want to take photos with me, and I don't even have to pay them. How did this happen? What did I do over the past few years? Luckily, there's video evidence. I mean, I remember a time when I recorded clips from my phone, only recording my friends, and rarely making an appearance on camera. This is the first time Old Boy ever made an appearance on my channel, in October of 2012, and back then, I might have had maybe 500 subscribers, and filmed with an HSC 1S. I remember being so thrilled when a video did 200 views. But I've made videos of Vietnam way before I met Old Boy. I mean, I didn't come to Vietnam with the idea of making a YouTube channel and having an audience. It was never ever a thought. I made travel logs like this one because I was passionate about travel documentaries and wanted to show my friends my art and my family what I was doing and where I was. This was so journaling in Vietnam, oh, I miss this series. These videos were strictly for them in the beginning. Even a year prior to my move to Vietnam, I traveled to Vietnam by myself and made a series called Vietnam by Myself from a $200 camcorder using little tapes. Oh, those are so obsolete right now. I remember transferring them via Firewire. Does anybody even know what Firewire is anymore? This series was the prelude to Sojourning Vietnam, and that was the foundation of my channel for the next few years, on and off. A year earlier in 2009 was when I first uploaded videos of Vietnam onto YouTube, once again for my friends who wanted to see my summer trip. Of course, this footage is unwatchable for me right now. I've changed a lot as a person. Thank goodness high definition wasn't common back then, but it's still fun to see some of my mannerisms and filming techniques haven't really changed much. Every time I look, there's a, there's a new bite. What the hell, man? And just for fun, this was my first ever video uploaded to YouTube of a scene from Romeo and Juliet. This was in 2007 in high school, and I played Mercurio. I will play on both your houses! Many years later, here I am today in front of what appears to be viewers. It's still hard to imagine that subscriber numbers and video views are from real people, just like yourself watching right now. I still can't imagine it. I still can't feel like it's real. I never thought or planned for this, but now I'm way more determined than ever to keep pushing out content as long as I possibly can. The feedback from you guys and my own personal growing up has been thanks to YouTube, but meeting you guys allowed me to feel even more motivation to keep pushing and keep trying. So do expect greater content coming up. A very special thanks to Lum, the owner of Fug88, for his hospitality and friendship. If you're in the Fullerton area, stop by for some Fug and say hello. He is a true supporter of this channel. Thank you everyone for making this journey, this life in the motherland a reality. A crazy reality to say the least. Good night. And thank you Valerie. For thank driving. You for driving and for putting up with me and for having to hear the stories repeat again and again. Um, so. No, it was Thank fun. You. You're welcome. I will see you in Vietnam. Thumbs up for Valerie. Um, if Thumbs anything. up for him. He deserves it. KyleA.net. Facebook.com slash KyleA.net.
Thank you guys. Follow me on social media so you don't miss out on anything. This meet was only posted to Facebook and Snapchat. Hopefully we'll have more in the future. Subscribe too if it's your first time on my channel because I make new videos all the time. Hello. Hi. 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 Oh my god, this is so weird.